Hello, it is Monday morning. Yeah, I feel good for a Monday for a change. Um, drop was up at five. Drop Ross to work. Didn't go back to bed because that has been my thing at the moment because the mornings are so dark. But look, it's seven o'clock and it is light and the birds are singing and all is good. Spring has sprung and I feel like it sprung me out of bed this morning. Um, so I am up. I've had a shower done some skincare I'm about to put a face of makeup on while I watch some Rachel Leary on the old YouTube um I'm in my gym gear because where am I going once I've done the school run yes I'm off to the gym guys first time in about four weeks am I nervous of course I fucking am but are we gonna do it of course we fucking are um I think I'm just gonna do cardio but even if I just get 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour of cardio on the treadmill in while I watch YouTube. I've already figured out what video I'm going to watch. I'll be good. So, yeah, I'm going to put some face on. I know, face for the gym. Who is she? Me. I'm me. Um, the kids are still asleep. What is the time? Can't even see. Oh. One minute past seven, so they can have like another 15 minutes while I put my face on. And then I'll get them up. Lunch is made for them, lunch is made for Ross, King has had a wee, I've got a coffee. The scales say I've put on a pound, but that is okay guys, that is okay. Because I know I'm going to go to the bathroom in a minute once I've had this coffee, because I can feel it go straight from me. Anywho, I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> gym what the fuck like my anxiety is literally kicked right in i've got the shakes my ass feels like it's in my mouth um also as i was pulling into my space i couldn't see we've got these big pillars in our car and sometimes when you're doing a maneuver you can't see and there was a car coming down from one of the shops over there and now i feel like when i walk down there they're gonna come and shout at me and be like man i'll be like i'm so sorry even though i did show and go i'm really sorry But I'm just reading, this is my problem, I read way too much into things and I'm like, oh my god, now they're going to come and get me. Uh, why am I doing this to myself, guys? Why am I doing it? Like, it's really busy down there. I hate that that's, there's like no parking near the gym. It really like, bugs me. And now I'm like, am I in the right outfit? I've got a crop, a crop hoodie on. I'm like, oh my god, have I worn the right thing? Yes, of course you have, Leisha. It's a gym outfit. Fucking get over it. And then I'm panicking because I've got to make Roman a birthday cake today. And I was going to make him a brownie cake. He's now said he wants a cake. Even though he doesn't know he's getting a cake. If that makes sense. So I've got to do this. Then go to the shops to get the ingredients for that. Um, probably buy myself another black coffee. Uh, then go home and make a cake. Which I haven't made for a while. <laughs> Fun. Anywho, I'll check back once I'm into the gym. I'm not taking you with me to the gym today because I'm not ready for that. Gym done. I managed to hold on. I managed half an hour at the gym, which is good. I am happy with that. I'm not complaining. Did the treadmill for half an hour. Um, I almost ran. WTF. I almost ran. Um, and I had some guy. If you follow me on TikTok. It's over there. But I had someone come up to me. While I was on the treadmill. And like try and get my attention. And to just say that his wife loves me. And thinks I'm amazing. And that literally filled me. Like I was holding back the tears. It's made my absolute day. And it just gave me a thing that I was like. Fuck this. I can run a marathon now. And that's what I basically try to do. But, um, yeah, and it killed me. I couldn't lift weights. So basically, King, our dog, pulled me over the other day because he's so bloody big. 
um because he just wanted to run and obviously because he's an xl bully he has to stay in the lead all the time and yeah and he just pulled me over which is fine like you know he's a big dog and we were in a field and it was slippery and yeah and um i've pulled my shoulder pretty bad i've hit my face broke three of my nails i wasn't going to bring it up because i know what people some what people what some people think of xl bullies but that's your opinion and you can keep it um but yeah so it was killing me that i couldn't go do any weights and there'll be pe i know there'll be people like mm, you're only in there half an hour it's better than nothing in it i did half an hour i've done nearly two ki kilos two kilometers on the treadmill I've, I've worked out more than i did last week so and i have to just go in slow and steady and just getting my ass in the gym today was like a 10 10 so so now i need to go and get balloons for roman because it's his birthday tomorrow he also wants a birthday cake well he doesn't want a birthday cake i want to make him a birthday cake and then so balloons birthday cake we don't do cards because they're waste paper and then i need to get the ingredients for a birthday cake and then he wants a chocolate one with sprinkles okay then i'm gonna do a big square one two big square ones um and then home bake the cake and i'm gonna try and do a somatic workout because i've had people saying doing somatic workouts are just as good as doing like high intensity so if i could try and do both in a day just lay their headphones on watch a youtube so i'm gonna try and do so i'm gonna go and do this i need to drink loads of water as well today i've got this big bottle out again so yeah let's go should i take you in the range with me we'll see who's this it's okay to ask for help i have a little thing that pops up and tells me stuff so it's okay to ask for help range didn't have any number ones and i asked someone like do you have any out the back and they were like no no okay you're not gonna go look no so i now have to go to morrison see if they've got any which i know i can get the ingredients from there then and if they don't have any i've then got to go into town and i can't be asked it but i brought this cute little cup how cute is that glass straw fucking hell glass Please don't break it. Yeah. I'll tell you off. Um, yeah, so if I like them, I'll come and get some more for everyone. How cute are they? Three ninety nine from the range. Right, let's go to Morrison's. What's taking the mick out of me? Turn your music off. Oh yeah. I was taking the piss out of my eyebrows, everyone. What's up with them? Cancer. Oh, I can't see it in the camera. Is that bit? Uh. Yeah, you can tell. That one's more rounded and that one goes up and like that. <laughs> Russell just said... Well, say what you said. I'm talking about... Can you smell what the rock I is cooking? <laughs> I said you look like you can smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you tried it then did a laugh. I can't do that. I never even told you what I was doing today. I was making birthday cake for Roman. Do you want to see what I've done? So I doubled the mixture. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that because now this is his birthday cake. Why did you double the mixture? Just to make sure we got enough. We have enough. Now. <laughs> we have enough. And Russell just like wanted a piece of cake for the gym, so I've done in this little bit with almond butter and sea salt on it. And he's like, "Oh, you've done me too much. We're running out of cake. We're gonna run out of cake." We're gonna run out of cake, aren't we? Tuli boy is in your box oh, no. of goods. I need to go and get dinner now and put the goats away. Ross is off to the gymnasium. Um, there's stuff in the boot, so don't open the boot. Oh, and King's ass is stinking. My, I need to go and have a shower as well because I look muddy. What are you probably do a poo straight away. I'm not taking them out. Not this time. Right. I don't know, I'm gonna check it in a minute. Hello, good morning. 
been to the gym, um, I've done the shop, I've done like, Ro it's Roman's birthday today, how have I not started with that, oh my god, Roman's birthday, let's turn the engine off a minute, um, I don't know why I even started it, um, it's Roman's birthday today, so he wants picky tea, if you are not from the UK, if you've watched me from all over the world, which could be a possibility, um, a picky tea is basically what it says. So we've got chips, we've got pizza, we've got nugs, we've got garlic bread, we've got some um, cured meats, some pate, some baguette, um, what else? We're going to make a popcorn salad, if you don't know what popcorn salad is, where the fuck you at? Um, it's just popcorn with sweets in, basically. Um, crisps, we've got dip, we've got like, we're going to have a feast. Uh, well, I'm not going to use it all, but you know. Um, yeah, so we've done that, I've gone to the gym, said that. Got my coffee, which I brought while we were going around the shop and it spilled everywhere. Um, you're really close to my car. Why do you need to walk that close to my car? Um, yeah. And that is, oh, I've got to finish this cake off, got to make sausage rolls, I'm going to make sausage rolls. Uh, I've seen cheeseburger sausage rolls, so I might make one row of normal sausage rolls, and then one row of cheeseburger ones, which you put a bit of cheese in, some mustard, sesame seeds. Mmm! Um, yeah, the diet will not be dieting tonight. I'm not on a diet, am I? <laughs> um, I am fasting, intermittent fasting. Ding. Let me try and get this up so I can also hold on. Let's pause you. I want to do it for both. So Ross just sent me a TikTok and it has actually really resonated with me and this matter that is in between in my skull. Um, like why the fuck do we care? Why the fuck do we actually care what people think and people say? I love coming on here and talking absolute garbage to you all. And for the two, three people that watch, I I love it. But like, I've had comments recently which have really got to me saying, who the fuck does she think she is? Does she think she's Molly May or something? Um, sorry, Molly May? It wasn't Molly May once upon a time. Any of these big br people were not someone once upon a time. So, and I live in Delulu land. And I talk to the kids and I talk to Ross, like, I live in this different universe where I am something else. And I know I may sound like absolute... I know I may sound like an absolute lunatic, but... Why not? Why not? Why are we all living in this little world where we're told what, we want to do, what we've got to do, we've told this, we've told that told you've got to conform we've told you've got to think this way and you've got to think that way and it just drives me absolutely insane how about no how about no how about just do what makes you happy if me sitting in front of my camera on my in the car in the house doing things uploading it to tiktok instagram youtube lemonade snapchat whatever i'm uploading it to because i'm on everything um, if that's what's making me happy, then fuck it, like, and age is a number, let's all forget about age, age doesn't matter, so just do whatever you want to do at whatever age you are right now. It doesn't mean, no, we're all just so like, oh, you've got to have your shit together by the time you're 30, and then you've got to do this by the time you're 40. no, no. This is just how I want to bring the kids up. Like, no. You don't have to go to college straight from school. Look at the colour difference. You don't have to go to college straight from school. If you want to finish school and go and get a job, you can do that, son. And then if you hit reach that and you want to go back to college, you go do that. You go retrain. You fall and you get up again. And you fall and you get up again. And you keep, like, you don't keep falling. But you just keep getting up and keep changing and moving and who says that you've got to be in this you you do school you go to college you go to university you get a job that's it you're dead like there's so much more out there and i think this is why my brain gets a bit thingy because i'm like there's so much more out there and i feel stuck 
but anywho we're on a waffle now and it's not even wednesday are we so i'm gonna i'm sat in sainsbury's car park everyone's parked around me i parked right at the end and people have parked all around me so what's that about um but i'm gonna get home now i need to go make buttercream i need to get these cakes made and done they are fucking humongous i'm gonna wrap one up and keep it for saturday because he's having a friend for a sleepover so um but yeah just thought I'd come on, come on, come on, come on, come on and have a little waffle on a Tuesday. But yeah. Also, do you know, even if you like, this is another thing that really gets to me. Not gets to me, that's the wrong word. Last thing on this waffle day, if you like someone's post, if they have one follower, two followers, 75 million followers, fucking share it, just share it. Like, it gets on my tits that you see you've posted something, but no one shared it. But a fucking celebrity or whatever has shared it, has done exactly the same post, and everyone's like, oh my god, look at her. No, how about we all share Karen from down the road, or Jeff from around the corner, or, you know. Everyone's always like, oh, girls supporting girls. No one... It, I can't get my words out and I sound like something, but I know what I'm saying. Ross will know what I'm saying because I say it all the time. Let someone else the part next to me now. Um, anywho, I'm just waffling. The coffee's gone straight to my brain. I can feel it. When I drink coffee, I get... It hurts here. Um, anywho, I'm going to go. If you've made it this far, well done. Happy birthday to you. Squash tomatoes and stew. Stick your head down the loo. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> How old are you? Twelve. Twelve years. No, twenty-one actually. <laughs> it says twenty-one, doesn't it? There we go. Forever young. King, come here. Look at the cake I made, everyone. It is a bit pissed. But Roman asked for rainbow sprinkles, so we went for rainbow sprinkles. And then I made some like truffle bites. I'm using my light because it looks shit like that, but as soon as you put the light on, it's like pow. And then we got the party food. Party, party, party. Um, not really party. Um, why am I just doing the light? A sausage roll, just all this. That is better, isn't it? I need a little clip to clippity clop it to here. Oh, I'll just love her. It's, it's nice, but it's backless and it's got a booty pop and I'll pop the booty. Right, my mum and dad are going to be here in a minute, so bye. Patooly boy, what are you doing? Are you enjoying the sun? What is he doing? Well, look. I'm filming, but. Silly boy! This is our neighbour's garden and he's just... Silly boy! Oh, you're very zoomed in. Oh. Hello! I haven't picked up the camera for a few days, so hello, welcome back to the vlogs. We're here with Ross. What are you making today? Little project. Just finishing off bits. So I'm editing, I think I've got two weeks worth of vloggage footage to um, edit. So that's what I'm doing right now. The sun is shining, but it's bloody cold. Mm, yeah, I know. Well, yeah, if you're out doing bits, it will be warm. Like, if you were going for a walk, it'd be warm. But I'm um, like, just editing, I'm cold. But I need to get these vlogs up and out. But, um, someone commented on one of my vlogs the other day, and I've completely forgot your name. It was a really long name, and I know it had YouTube in the name. Oh, yeah. And thank you for that comment. I've taken what you said with constructive criticism like 
Is that all well? Yeah. yeah, I've taken what you've said on board and yeah, I'm going to implement it into my next vlogs. So thank you. Um, also, I've just been thinking of stuff that we could do for vlog footage. We have some exciting plans this year. Very exciting, don't we? Mm -hmm. Um, but I really want to start a series on here. Hold on, the tumble dry's on. I really want to start a series on here over the summer. This is almost finished anyway. Um, I think it'd be a really good one, seeing as we're in Cornwall and everyone comes to Cornwall for a cream tea. And we do have the Scone King himself here. If you don't know, if you're new here, we owned a business for two and a half years. Yeah, and it was a cafe and Ross makes the most perfect scones. Someone even said the best scones I've ever tasted in their life, didn't she? Well, she said the best ever scones were at this place and she said, I've just had these and they're better than his. There you go. Oh yeah, it was a big, wasn't it a famous, was it? Oh, uh, it was just in town, yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, best, best scones and they are, they actually are the best scones I've ever had. And I'm not just saying that because it's oh, my right, husband. Right. Um, so he gave himself the name the Scone King. We were self-proclaimed self Scone King. We did get we did win an award though for our business. So you can you can take that. Um, we won best new business in COVID in Cornwall. Um, but yeah, I want to take you guys around Cornwall and find the best scone places. Mm -hmm for you guys so when you tra come down here on holidays you can go and find nice cream tea because there's nothing worse than really wanting a cream tea and you go somewhere and it's dry yeah. they don't give you enough tea and they don't give you enough cream there's nothing worse I can tell when they're the dry scones I know what is going on they're making them in bulk freezing them defrosting them in the microwave that's what they're doing. Whereas ours were, ours were baked fresh every like every day. I just started editing a vlog and Ross's did a bit of vloggage and he was just good. So, mm, yeah, um, um, and it was only two seconds into the bit of vlog you've made. <laughs> it is the 9th of March and the time is sponsored by Ross Davies. Juicy fruit. The sun actually feels lovely. There are the slants. I need to get some wipes and stuff for all my cameras and stuff. Don't it feel like lush on your skin? Mm -hmm. I'm out oh, in the sun every day. Show them your tulips that you've grown. A wasp, yeah. That's cool. Oh, I love that colour. You can grow them now. And, um. We've got paint there. Yeah. Well, we painted it with indoor paint in lockdown. And it's lasted this long. Lockdown was four years ago. Yeah, how did it press? And we've painted it with emulsion. Um, so here, if anything, I'll do it like that. Yeah, oh, ding dong. Hello. Mummy's just editing a vlog. I can see you. Just see you. Oh, the pantry will look lush if, when we've got the lights and stuff in it. From here. Like if I was to put a tripod here and film. The house will look lush when it's finished, 
Hmm. Editing. I sorted my desk out finally. That needs to, all of that. I think needs to go on vintage. And there's a bag down here that needs to go on vintage. Um, yeah, I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that. Mine, just so it's all there, so I can just um, get it and send it off. We both have vintage. I'll leave our vintage links down below. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll upload some of that stuff. There's like really nice River Island tracksuit for Rome or for boys, River Island t shirts, Salt Rock t shirt. There's shitloads of nice stuff for the kids. I can't wait to do a mirrors because I reckon there's going to be shed loads of girl stuff that's going to be sold. Sheds. Sheds. Um, if you use Vinted, can you, like, like, we're still really new to it. Can you literally sell anything on it? Like, I'm just looking at these PlayStation games. Can you sell them on it? Yeah. Because does he really need all these PlayStation games, or should we just try and get rid of them? I bet some of them are PS3, are they? Probably. I know what we should say to Rome. We'll sell them on Vinted, and then you can download a game. We'll pay for you to download a game. Because who has DVDs? And literally, we've got boxes of CDs and DVDs. Saying to That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, I was thinking that for the um, you know what we're talking about next to the house. Well, it can all live in the seats, and we just have them locked, so we can still keep some of the stuff that's in the caravan yeah. in there. Just. Yeah, sorry. In there locked up as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Like we still use it as our own storage under seats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't need to be going. No. Anywho, um yeah. We're planning to get an Airbnb next to our house, a uh, little caravan for people to stay in. And um yeah. As well as other things. But my makeup looks really nice today. Oh, I can see you, poops. Oh, look at our table. Why is that so... Literally, the house is so tidy. I spend so much time tidying it and it's such a mess. Anyhow, I'm getting back to vlog... Um, editing.